y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. We call this as what? Two point form of line. Similarly, you can frame other line equation. Use these two points and create other line equation. Use two point form. I'll write equation of AB. How to find? See, they gave two points. From two points, find one line. Y intercept that is more than sufficient and they gave the ratio also ratio is 3 is to 2 if you know two points on the line you can use two point form of line what is two point form of line y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 we call this as two point form of line welcome to the session dear students today we will go ahead with straight lines so now find the equation of straight line which passes through the point minus 5 comma 4 and such that the portion between the coordinate axis is divided by this point. This point means what? The given point minus 5, 4 in the ratio 3 is to 2. So dear students, this is x axis and this is y axis and this is a line. And the line is divided by point. The point is minus 5 comma 4. And it is divided by two line joining points. The line joining points we call them as A0, 0, zero sorry, a point on y axis. Point on y axis will be in what form? 0, comma b, and the other point is point on x axis. Point on x axis will be in the form a comma 0. Now, if you can find a and b, now if you can find a and b, a and b means what? A is the x intercept, b is the y intercept. That is more than sufficient. And they gave the ratio also. Ratio is 3 is to 2. So now if I draw like this. And say this is the point of division. Point of division is minus 5 comma 4 they gave. And the ratio they gave 2 is to 3. And one of the point is 0 B. And the other point is A 0. So now if you multiply these two. You will get the point of division. So minus 5 comma 4 is the point of division. Mx2 means what 2 into A plus 3 into 0 by 2 plus 3. Comma 2 into m y 2 2 into 0 plus 3 into b. I am using section formula for internal division what you have learnt in the last topic. So now you can equate first value to first and second to second to get the ratio. So minus 5 comma 4 they gave is equal to what? 2a by 2 plus 3 is 5 and the second part is what? 3b by 5. Now equate first with first and second with second. So minus 5 is equal to 2a by 5. So a becomes minus 5 into 5 divided by 2. So a is what minus 25 by 2. So now we got x intercept. Similarly get equate y in y coordinate with y. So 4 is equal to 3b by 5. Solve it. So 4 into 5 divided by 3 it will become. So b becomes 20 by 3. So we got a b value. So dear students 4 5 is a 20 by 3 we have done. So because we use the section formula. What is the section formula? M x 2 m y2 what is y2 zero, 2 into 0 plus 3 into b so from that you got b a and b you got so use the intercept form of line what is intercept form of line so required line is intercept form of line required line is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 so x by what is a x intercept that is minus 25 by 2 and what is b y intercept that is 20 by 3 is equal to 1 so i can write it as 2x plus 3y this is divided by 25, this is minus 25 and this is divided by 20 is equal to 1. For 20 and 25, you can take LCM and multiply. For 20 and 25, take the LCM and multiply on both sides. 20 and 25, both are divisible by 5, 5 4 is a 5 5 is a, then 5 5 is a 25, 25 4 is a 100. So I can also simplify this line by multiplying 100 on both sides or if you take 100 and 100 is equal to. 25 4 is a, so it will become 8 minus 8x plus 20 5 is a, 5 3 is a 15y is equal to 1 cross multiply minus 8x plus 15y is equal to 100 or I can say 8x minus 15y is equal to 100 or you can say 8x minus 5y minus 100 is equal to 0. So this is the required equation of line. Further the game what ratio the line joining these two points. 2, 3 and 4 minus 5 is divided by other line joining 6, 8 and minus 3, 2. They are asking what is the ratio for this. Now to find the ratio, they give two points. A, B is one end, one line joining points. That is 2, 3 and 4 minus 5. So first write equation of this line. Use two point form. 
I'll write equation of AB. How to find? See, they give two points. From two points, find one line. From other two points, find other line. So now equation of AB. Use the formula y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 format. If I use that, I'll get y minus 3 divided by y2 minus y1 means this is y2, this is x2, y2 minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 x minus x1 means x minus 2 divided by 4 minus 2 y minus 3 divided by minus 8 is equal to x minus 2 divided by 2 cross multiply if you cross multiply you will get 2y minus 6 is equal to minus 8x plus 16 8x plus 2y minus 22 is equal to 0 so this is the equation of the line all are divisible by 2 you can divide by 2 so if I divide by 2, I'll get 4x plus y minus 22 is equal to 0. This is one of the line equation. Similarly, you can frame other line equation. Use these two points and create other line equation. And then you can find point of division using section formula. So other line C, D, I'll say C is what? 6, 8 and D. D, what is D? 3 minus 2 minus 3, 2. So now I'll write the equation of line that is y minus y1 y minus 8 divided by minus 3 minus 8 x minus x1 divided x minus 6 divided by minus 3 minus 6 so it become y minus 8 divided by minus 11 is equal to x minus 6 divided by minus 9 minus minus cancels if you simplify 9x 9y plus 9 8 is 72 is equal to 11x minus 66. So now rearrange. So we'll get 11x plus 9y and 11x minus 9y minus 62 minus 72 equal to 0. Further, you solve this equation, we'll get the line equation. After you get the line equation, what we do? We'll find the point of intersection. We'll use the formula r is to 1 and you can further solve. So this particular problem you can continue by the same method but for your board exam just the last plain simple line equations and this is also important the method I told you and problem 3 in the textbook this is wrong problem 3 whatever they give because a plus b 1 and a b 6 so sum is 1 and product is 6 if you solve you will get imaginary roots for this we don't get the answer what they gave in the textbook so therefore so this intercept form will use x by a plus y by b equal to 1 to solve the problem but whatever this criteria given will not suit the answers given in the textbook so you can drop this this is wrong problem printed in your textbook answer given does not match with this next find the equation of the medians of triangle formed by the points this is important median of triangle formed by the points so the median means what the line joining midpoint one of the vertex and midpoint of other line so i'll say a minus 1 3 b minus 3 5 c 7 minus 9 so median means what a m is the median m is the midpoint of b c so find the midpoint of b c how to find m midpoint formula x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 m is the midpoint by 2 by 2 m is the midpoint of vertices b and c so I use midpoint formula call this as x1 y1 call this as x2 y2 dear students one median i'll find remaining you do by same method so what is x1 plus x2 minus 3 plus 7 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 5 plus minus 9 divided by 2 simplify this you'll get 4 by 2 comma minus 4 by 2 that is 2 comma minus 2 this is a midpoint m you got so now you have a with you so a point a you have that is minus 1 comma 3 and m your median m value also you have m is there what is m you got 2 minus 2 now equation of median am equation of median am what is the equation y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 dear students i am using two point form of line 
if you know two points on the line you can use two point form of line what is two point form of line y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 we call this as two point form of line so now y and x are unknown so y minus y1 what is y1 you call this as x1 y1 you call this as x2 y2 y minus y1 means y minus 3 divided by y2 minus y1 minus 2 minus 3 x minus x1 means x minus minus 1 divided by x2 minus x1 is 2 minus minus 1. Simplify this, you will get y minus 3 by minus 5 is equal to x plus 1 by 3. So cross multiply, if you cross multiply, you will get 3y minus 9 is equal to minus 5x minus 5. Rearrange, so you will get 5x plus 3y minus 9 plus 5 is equal to 0 or 5x plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of median. So now you got one of the median AM. Then similarly, we will find BN, equation of BN. To find BN, first find midpoint of AC. Midpoint of AC is called as N. So use midpoint formula, X1 plus X2 by 2. So that is 7 minus 1, 6, 6 by 2 is 3. And 3 minus 9, minus 6, minus 6 divided by 2, minus 3. So now you similarly find BN. Use the formula, Y2 minus Y1 by y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. So first find midpoint. So I found out midpoint of BC that is M. Then M and A are two points I wrote here. One point we call it as x1 y1. The other point we call it as x2 y2 and we use two point form of line. What is two point form of line? y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. We call this as what? Two point form of line. Use the two point form of line. Hence, you will get the equation of median. Similarly, you can find all three medians. So by this, I conclude the session. So please sit and practice all the problems. I will see in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.